Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Kirby365939 here with you today. And today I will be showing you how to get the good old Google search bar back in Windows 7. Now you may have noticed that recently you may download the Google toolbar for Internet Explorer and expecting to get the Google search bar button, right? Wrong. Uh, for some reason Google was um, mean enough, I guess you can put it, to get rid of the Google quick search button in Windows, the newer versions of the Google toolbar for IE does not come with the Google quick search bar, not uh, quick search button or whatever. Uh, until recently, um, I'd say they released this thing called Google Pack, made specifically for Windows 7, around mid 2009, early 2010, something like that, where Google has a lot, several hand-picked pieces of software you can download for free um, to improve your usability of Windows 7 or get get the word around about Google products or something. But um, it's not not too many people know about it. Surprisingly, I mean, I had no clue it existed, and I had no clue what it could, um, that it came with the quick search button. Um, I did some Google searching around. And, you know, like, how to get the Google search button back in Windows 7 and different things. And I came across this blog thread on the Google website um, of users, or uh, just average people, uh, leaving questions that they are not sure about to Google. Sometimes complaints, but I happen to be re reading that thread. And I found it something that told that said that if you want the Google button back in Windows 7, all you gotta do is download the Google toolbar for Internet Explorer from the Google Pack on make um, on Firefox. You gotta make sure that you are downloading it from Firefox. If you download it on Internet Explorer, for some reason it will not work. Don't ask me why, I do not know. But I mean, it works at least. Um, if you don't have Firefox, I'm sorry. If you want, if you want the Google button bad, you're gonna have to download Firefox, which it's not a big deal. I mean, I like Firefox quite a bit. Um, Firefox 4 is really good to me. It's much, uh, much more reliable than 3.6 to me at least. But anyway, you must download it from there, and you will get it. Okay, and as you can see, if you can read everything on mine, you can you will notice on this table of the list of things you can get, you will not see the Google toolbar for IE listed anywhere on here. But because that's because I've already installed it. All right. By the way, before you do this, I you must um, go to make sure you're on Windows 7, of course. And you must make sure you are on programs and features and uninstall the Google toolbar for IE. Don't worry, it's not a big deal. You can just un reinstall it and everything, and it'll be back to normal. So, once you're here on Firefox, I will provide the link in the description. And if I find the thread um, from the blog that I found this originally at, I will provide that in the description as well. Alright, so once you get here on Firefox, make sure you check or uncheck whatever pieces of software you want or don't want to be installed on your Windows 7. The only thing I checked was the Google toolbar for IE. As you can see down here, it says you've already installed the software. Alright, and it should be right here where Avast Antivirus is. And Avast should be like right up here, something like that. Just make sure you check it wherever it is. And check whatever else you want. And then click download now, accept the installation requirements or legal documents or whatever, and install it. It should take a couple minutes to install, and you should see the magically apply down at the bottom of the Google taskbar, or in the Windows taskbar. Alright, and you can adjust the settings, um, you can disable it, or you can edit it, 
like have it have the uh, keyboard shortcut to it without having the button taking up space on the keyboard uh, you can do whatever you want with it but the only thing I don't really like about what it does is hold on okay right here google quick search box dot exe um, it's taking up 7196k on my system right now now if you have if you don't have very much ram or memory on your computer uh... might slow down your computer a little bit at startup it should run perfectly normal should uh... once you get it going and everything but at startup it will probably take an extra couple seconds um, especially if you have quite a few other things running when you start up I disabled quite a few things at startup for it but I mean I only have about 700 megabytes of RAM and I have a 4 gigabyte flash drive plugged into my computer right now to speed up my computer a little bit so it, it loads up um, normal normal time for me but either way, it's totally worth it. I really like the Google button. Full functionality and everything. <sighs> worth it. I really like Google uh, search box. And if this... Well, be sure to leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this. And let me know if you like the product, dislike it, or if this worked or didn't work for you. Let me know. If it were if it didn't work, and I will see if I can help walk you through it and see see if we can figure out what you did wrong. Don't be afraid. I'm not here to hurt. I'm here to help. That's why I made this video. Uh, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos. I have several other videos for um, computer help, uh, entertainment, all this other stuff. Um, even some videos on how to speed up Firefox and Internet Explorer, make them like four times faster literally and several other things I suggest watching to help speed up your computer overall I have several videos for XP uh, compatible with Vista and several videos for Windows 7 as well alright and be sure to ask me questions if you something you want me to make a video of something you want me to do anything alright I'm here um, again, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.